arrived in Norway. It's obviously very dark and it's pretty cold. And that means it's time for wood and fireplace fire. But my mom is without wood. So we're going wood chopping. Chopping or shopping? Shopping. After this uh, long travel that we've uh, shown you in the beginning, we've arrived at the cabin of Kristen's family. It's really beautiful here. You can see that there's a nice frozen lake and the cabin here is really, really cool. We're gonna light up a fire and then it's time to chill. We're gonna light up a fire but light up the fireplace. Is she making my face again? So we're gonna make a fire in the fireplace. And then we're gonna chill and eat some lunch and read books and probably go for a walk later. Yeah. I'm really excited. So we uh, decided to go out. It's really nice here. Uh, we just found a geocache. Which is cool. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in on your face because I know you'd like it. And um, yeah, so now we're gonna find some more, hopefully. And I'm uh, I'm excited for this. So something I didn't know is that in no way the trees grow upside down. Kristen, what's wrong with that tree? It's Norway. Say no more. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it just fell from the sky and then <laughs> into the ground. Kristen, it's Christmas here. 
Okay, bye. What did I say? That it's Christmas here. So we're out walking, looking for jail catches. The view is pretty nice. It's sunny. Uh, it's really nice. <laughs> really, really nice. It's sun. It's blue sky. A couple of clouds. Three degrees and almost no wind. So it's pretty perfect. Uh, walking in the forest uh, we really get some amazing views right now and the plan is to go there and then go all the way down and see if we can find our geocache so Kristen stated that we can uh, just fill the water bottle in this uh, little creek because as long as the water is moving and clear it's all good to drink which I'm happy with so we're gonna We're in the forest. Yeah. We just found one geocache. Yeah. And we're on our way to find nine others, eight others. But there's no tracks. So we have to go directly through the forest and hopefully end up at the correct place. It's not that big of a punishment though with this with this beautiful view. Soon? Huh? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? Yeah, need a bit of extra skin. If we like go the Google Maps yeah. way, we'll walk through the whole lake today. That's, That's nice. a nice bird. I don't see a bird. It's a tiny bird. You see between those two trees? It's low. Ah, there. Kristen, it would be really good for the vlog if you fell. Sorry, I'm trying not to. <laughs> hey! I found the geocache. Was it big? It's, it's big. It's pretty small. Okay. Nah. It's getting really dark. Sunset's beautiful, by the way. It's difficult to see. Let me adjust the lighting beautiful so we're uh, walking home we've been walking for about six hours straight and it's really time to get home now but it's only about 30 minutes left so it's like 12 o'clock and We've been up for two hours, not really doing anything. This uh, is great. We've been eating sugar on bread, or I don't know. It's a, I didn't try it. We're now gonna get ready to go to a little village, do some more groceries, and then we're gonna geocache a little, and then 
go home and continue reading books, I guess. That sounds good. Yeah, that's the plan for today. Kristen, yeah. what's the current status? Um, I'm trying to slowly clean us out of this place. Yeah. Uh, we still haven't had breakfast, so I'm a bit hungry. Um, and yeah, we'll just take it as it comes and not like rush anything, and then see when we're out of it. Yeah. So we're ready to go, but chef don't really agree at all. Kind of. He's just decided to hide under a blanket. Come on, let's no. go. Why? I want to stay. You want to stay? So I lock the door. Okay. You have to let me really still because I'm going to turn on the alarm. No. No. Okay. Bye. See you next time. Someone's here. Hope you don't starve to death. Hi. So we're back on our way to uh, the Netherlands. Or first we're going back to Bos, which is the place Kristen used to live. And it means that now I think we're in the car for one and a half hours. Yeah. One and a half hours, roughly. And then um, we'll chill a bit in uh, in Os, and then get the train, go to Oslo, and fly back to the Netherlands, where it's uh, hopefully a little warmer and a uh, little less slippery because my car doesn't have winter tires. After quite some time of traveling, we're finally home. I have missed home. Yeah, me too. Uh, I would have gladly stayed a little longer, but it's always nice to just get home and be on the couch. And yeah, be couch potatoes. Yeah. We're really good at being couch potatoes. I'm a professional couch potato. <laughs> I look forward to slowly blanket again. I haven't been able to do that for a couple of days. No. No. Kristen always steals my blanket. It's a part of the relationship. <laughs> sort of. Kind of, yes. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed uh, this little insight in our holiday. Yeah. And uh, I hope to see you again. Bye.